sorry, sir. Good to see you. Let me put you in the middle here. We were just talking here about what this spring must be like for you and this staff. All new terminology, all new things. From your perspective, how has it gone? It's gone exceptionally well, uh, and we're having a blast with these guys. It's teaching, it's educating, and we're all teachers out here, and you can see that as you see the drills and stuff, just implementing some new things. The foundation's been set. We have a great foundation that Coach Schneider built, and we're just trying to continue to grow upon that. But it's been so much fun to watch these guys embrace the new voice in the front of the room, embrace the new coach that they have. And uh, uh, we're having our individual drills right now, and the guys are eager to learn. And, and this is a practice day for us. We have to continue to improve upon from day one to day 15, and we've seen great growth. I'll let Stan ask a couple here in a moment, but I want to ask you one here. Because of the newness of this, all of these fans watching, what can you tell them to expect to see here today? A bunch of guys that love playing the game of football. Uh, they're playing for each other, uh, that are invested in each other, take ownership in the program. It's their program. It's our program. It's the entire community's program. Uh, and these guys are having a blast. They're having a lot of fun. They're challenging each other to be great. We're challenging them to win every dang day. And this is another opportunity to do that. Coach, you obviously know about football. But every group is different. And now that you've been around these players and out in the practice field with them, what encourages you the most about what you see of this group of players? They care. They want to be great. Uh, they challenge each other uh, to give their best every day. And we're challenging them in a bunch of different ways with new drills and new, new practice format, new terminology offensive and defensively. Uh, and these guys are really embracing that, and, and they're making each other better. What's the thing you think about over the summer and in the fall two-a-days? I guess we don't have two-a-days anymore, but uh, in practice, what do you expect to see the most improvement from now till next fall? Just the fact that we kind of are putting a new offense and defense for the first 15 days. Now we have to put it upon the captains, the leaders. They have to take us through the summer because we can't be around them. Now we get to August and we're, and we're going to re-implement, reinstall everything. And I think there'll be some great uh, carryover from what they learned in the spring to fall. But we challenge those guys. They have to be great this summer. Uh, they have to challenge each other to be great. And, and uh, I'm excited because I know they're ready for that challenge. It's an interesting thing when you talk to these players. One, they're having fun, and I think that is a big goal. But they've also learned a lot in a very, very short period of time. How impressed are you with their football acumen and just picking up the language and the terminology and your way of doing things so so quickly? It's the want to, and they want to be great. They, they, uh, they have a bad taste in their mouth from finishing 5-7. and seven. They know they were a better football team than that. Uh, but you're judged every day. And uh, we challenge these guys every day. And, and I'm so excited because uh, they know that they're barely scratching the surface for what their potential could be. And we're not going to be great on August 31st without attacking April 12th. And we're going to continue to attack and win every day to give ourselves a chance to be successful at the end of August. I know you've seen K-State fans all over the place, Dallas, Dallas everywhere. everywhere. You don't get a chance to do this in the fall very much. What does it look like to see those fans ready to root for you? Well, they're going to root for us. There's nothing about me a part of this. It's, uh, it's about us, and it's about uh, them, and it's about the community. It's about these players, and uh, we're going to embrace this together, and we're going to attack it together and uh, with all of our help. Uh, and I know they're going to be crazy loud when we get to the season. Uh, just uh, trust the process on this. These kids are working their tail off, and we'll be ready to go at the end of August. How enjoyable has it been for you to be out there on the field teaching some players? I know head coaches don't get a ton of opportunity to do that, but I know you love doing it. I do love doing it. I don't. I would rather not do what I'm doing here and talking around. I'd rather be out coaching, but uh, I enjoy talking about the game. I'm an old defensive back. I like to grab the safeties, the nickels, talk technique, talk terminology. I like to sit with the quarterbacks and kind of give them my knowledge of the defensive perspective. Uh, that's that's the game of football is teaching, 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 and those kids retaining some of that information. A couple of more, and then we'll let you get to work here. We've had an interesting week here with the PowerCat auction last night. It was your first. I, I guess I just want to ask you your thoughts of that and just what you've learned about Kansas State and K-State Athletics in just, what, 90 days? Yeah, it's been a fast 90 days for starters, and uh, what a great event last night. I can't thank the, all the people for the amount of support, uh, that they support these student athletes that are working their tail off in every sport, uh, and they give back to this great institution that has given them so much. The, the pride that you see at Kansas State uh, is probably unmatched anywhere in the country. 
and, and I love going around and speaking to different people, whether it's in the state of Kansas or Dallas, and anywhere around in between. Uh, it's, it's a fun time for me to go out there and, and share uh, the knowledge that other people have about K-State football and giving it to me because I'm, I'm a sponge too. I'm trying to soak all this in as well. It's easy for us to stand here and say this, but I, we have been so impressed with your staff, and we're going to get a chance to talk to, if not all, most of those guys here in the next 30 or 40 minutes here. What was it like going through the process of hiring these guys? Many of them you knew, uh, if not all of them, but to get them here had, had to be a big priority, and it worked. It definitely did, and uh, there's a lot of great football coaches out there, but these guys are great men that care for kids, uh, challenge guys, uh, show kids that they love them, and that's something that's probably not done enough in this business is it's okay to tell a kid you love them. It's, a, it's okay to uh, tell a kid how much you care for him. You can challenge those young men if they know you love them, and uh, that's what these guys do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so impressed in the 90 days we've been here. You take 30 days on the road. We had a week of spring uh, break. There's five weeks in the relationships and the bonds that these coaches have built with these players. It's pretty remarkable. It shows you the high character and high caliber of guys we have here. I'll salute you on one more front. Getting to know these guys and all the faces and personalities is not easy. And all of these guys, meaning you and your staff, seem to have done it very quickly. Yeah, we really have, and that's something that you have to do. You can't. It, nobody's a number. Everybody's a name, and, and uh, it's really important when we see them in the hallways, we see them in the locker room, we see them in the, the training table that you're addressing them by their name and, and talking to them about something, whether it was about how their day was or somebody in their family, and that's building relationships, and the tighter those relationships are, the more you're going to get out of an individual because they know you care, and uh, our coaches definitely care, and, and shout out to all the former players. We're here because of them. We're here because of the, of the blood, sweat, and tears they put on this field or on Old Memorial Stadium. They're, we're here because of the foundation that they built. And we have an unbelievable platform here because of what those guys have, did, have done. So I, I appreciate those guys so much. Thanks so much for the visit. We'll talk with you in just a little bit. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Chris Kleiman.